So this is session three of After Pentecost. And today I'm going to look at ways in which the um, early church was almost run off the rails by opposition. On Monday we saw how spiritual attempt was to attack the church from within, where Ananias and Sapphira were tempted to think that looking good was all that mattered. And we saw how God dealt with such a dangerous attitude to protect the church from being destroyed from within. And today I'm going to look at the opposition from without. The healing of the lame man was the beginning of a wave of people bringing their sick and family and friends to the apostles for healing. The first official reaction we read of was jealousy. Jealousy on the part of the Sadducees. Jealousy that they were attracting more people than the Sadducees. I remember reading of a pastor who was praying for revival and he watched the church down the road growing while his remained static. And he got quite annoyed about this and he asked God why. He was the one praying for revival. Why was the other church growing and not his? And he heard a quiet voice answer him, yes, but were you praying for revival in your church or in mine? God will work where he will and jealousy of one another is putting ourselves ahead of God and his work. Now the opposition came in form of putting the apostles in jail. Surely that would stop them. But when God wants something done, human effort cannot stop it. And during the night an angel came and let them out of the prison. And the guards didn't even notice. They were back in the temple first thing the next morning, preaching about Jesus, just as the angel had told them to do. Think that's impossible? Just a made up story? Well, have you read The Heavenly Man? The story of the Chinese church and especially a particular Chinese pastor who was persecuted, put in jail, um, had a terrible time. And after quite some years of this persecution and being in prison, one day he simply walked out of the prison and he walked out open doors. He walked past guards who didn't even see him. He went out the prison gates, got a taxi and went to the house of some friends. And by the time the prison officials realized he was missing, he was long gone. Nothing is impossible with God. The apostles were brought again before the Sanhedrin and the Sanhedrin reminded them they'd been given strict instructions not to preach about Jesus. And their reply, we must obey God rather than human beings. It's a bold statement. Are we willing to stand up for God when there's opposition? It's a lot easier just to go along with what everyone's doing than it is to stand and proclaim the truth of God. Now our opposition may only be ridicule and not prison or torture, yet we're still very quick to give in. The Sanhedrin wanted to put the apostles to death, but a member named Gamaliel reminded them that there had been other people who'd had a cause, had a following, but after they had died, the following died. And so he said, why don't you wait and see what happens to this cause? Well, of course it didn't die. It grew, it flourished, and spread worldwide because it was of God. The church is God's people to do his work in this world. It's still in danger from within and without, and it takes the power of the Holy Spirit and great courage to stand firm on the truth of God. We are